Have you ever seen this strange liquid on top of your sourdough starter? Ooh. But don't worry, gluten has a solution for you. But what exactly is this liquid? When you don't feed your sourdough starter daily, sometimes you come up with this kind of liquid, which I told you is mostly acid. And if you know something about the gluten network, the acid is a number one enemy. But why do I get this liquid? What is going on? As I told you before, it's all about feeding your sourdough starter. The most you feed it and the most you use it, you'll get a healthier sourdough starter. But maybe you have to take your sourdough starter and it slip in the cold of your fridge. And then the sourdough starter starts to bring this liquid on top of it, which is acid. When you feed your sourdough starter with what? Well, with flour and water and give it some room temperature around 25 degrees Celsius, that 77 degrees Fahrenheit, your sourdough starter comes back to life. It's like having a lot of food. So, what does it do? It begins to ferment and produce CO2, which is gas. Your sourdough starter within two or four hours will start to rise. Maybe it will double in size or triple in size. And when the food is over, when they have eaten all the starches of the flour, what happens? It starts to go down, all the air goes away, and your sourdough starter begins to fall. But when you leave your sourdough starter like this, not feeding it again, because when it goes down, you need to feed it. As much as you leave it forgotten, you'll start to get this liquid. Maybe it will appear on top of it. It can even appear in the middle or maybe in the bottom. But this is liquid, it's acid. And the acid, remember, is the number one enemy of the gluten network. And what does the gluten network do? It's like the skeleton of your bread. If you don't have a skeleton, then you have a flat bread. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home? Then I have the solution. I have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment and bake your sourdough bread, how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. So gluten, what is the solution? Don't worry, this is the solution. We just need some more flour, water, a little bowl, spoon, and your mysterious sourdough starter. First, we need to get rid of this liquid, which, as I told you, is, oh, mostly acid. Oof, well, it's not that bad. Let's get rid first of all of this strange liquid and a little bit of the sourdough starter. I tried to discard half of it. Now, in order to bring it back to life, and it depends on how long it has been forgotten, this would take a few hours. So, now we have this cart, and now we have the sourdough starter here. And what do we need? The same as always. The same flour that you used to feed it, or if you want, you can use whole meal, pelt, kamut, whatever you have. And, as always, we'll do it by the eye. A few spoons of flour, maybe two. Three, it's okay. Some tap water. We'll mix it and we'll be looking for a texture. I haven't weighed anything, no measures, nothing. Just by the eye. If it's too liquid, then I'll add a little bit more of flour, like I need today. And if it's too stiff, I could add more water. The idea is that we mix it and bring it back to life. Also adding some air into this sourdough starter. And this is a texture that we're looking for. Not that liquid, not that stiff, it's just like a glue, maybe. This is a texture that we need to achieve our goal, to make this ferment again and to, to come back to life. And it depends on how long you left it forgotten in the fridge or wherever you left it. Maybe it will take one refreshment, two, maybe three. Maybe you can do this one day before. But it is really important before we start making bread to have it really, really active. So what we'll do now, 
I will cover it with this lid and leave it here at room temperature and wait till it comes back to life. Take a look at it, it's alive, full of air, full of bubbles. Ah. Now she wants to make bread. Take a look at it. Ooh. Wow, check how airy it is. It looks like a mousse, like a white chocolate mousse. And I want you to see this, see how creamy it is also. What did we do? We just fed it with, what? with flour and water and a little bit of temperature. That's the secret. Always feed your sourdough starter on a daily basis. If you don't want to bake bread every day, keep it in the fridge. It's okay because otherwise you'll end up with a jar like this of sourdough starter. But when you want to use it, please remove it out of the fridge, out of the cold and feed it maybe once, twice, three times give it some temperature and you get it like this, ready to start baking bread. It is very important that your sourdough starter looks like this, full of activity, full of air, full of health. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this new gluten tip and have your sourdough starter happy as mine. That's all, start baking and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.